Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's been a little bit since I've recorded but today I have a shop with me video for you on Bai where I'm gonna be looking for a bunch of photo cards for BTS, TXT and Seventeen mostly. This video is in partnership with Bai so I do have a link in my description that will give you 2000 yen off your first purchase. If you don't know Bai is a proxy service which helps you buy from Japanese websites like Mako Japan for example which I'll be using today where there's quite a lot of photo cards available for purchase and you can see more of their coupons and discounts right as you open their website on the banners I think there was another one that was like 5% off yeah on Rakuten purchases so it's always good to keep an eye out on what they have available but I will just start my shopping using Mercury Japan and you have the integrated search bar right there at the top all right so one of the first things that i was looking for was ming hao's face the sun with us album version photo cards and i was kind of just looking at what the price range was you know and we can see that it's between like 900 yen to a thousand yen approximately or just above a thousand yen uh i was seeing you know other sets with other photo cards popping up as well and I was kind of looking at what the price range for that was as well here I was just double checking on what the caption and the description of the posting was and just comparing different listings and different sellers the price they have the racings they have and the descriptions they have So I ended up eliminating one option and deciding between those two and I decided to pick the one that was 15 yen more expensive but had way more ratings because 50 yen is really not that big of a difference. And then I just add that to my cart to save it in the meantime and look for Mingyu's with us album photo cards which uh, that's the thing on Macro Japan is that member pricing is uh, very prevalent so you can see here it's just like twice the price uh, if not more uh, for the same photo cards for Mingyu but uh, I think that I found one that was a little bit less expensive and here you can see that I left uh, what was sold out as well just because I wanted to see the price range of things this listing there's a little dot uh, on one of the photo cards so I was just looking at other listings but yeah just reading the description same spiel as for Ming Hao but yeah I decided uh, just that the dot wasn't bothering me and I was just gonna look at the seller on Mercury Japan as well just to you know double triple check things and then uh, I was seeing listings for other photo cards that I needed so I was just like opening them to save them and also so sometimes I can just copy and paste uh, better search words as well depending you know for example for power station or whatever there's like specific search terms so i just copy and paste those from other listings so i decided to go with this set uh of the photo cards this is the buying process i had a 2000 in coupon so i just applied that with a light plan which requires uh no extra packaging or services like taking pictures uh, so here I was looking for some pre-order benefits and yeah just looking at the price range of things looking what was up if it's worth buying from here or trying to find them somewhere else 
but I mean usually it's just so much easier to buy on Macro Japan because the range of things that they have is just like way broader and they just have way more choice and usually they have items that you can't purchase in any other places so for example this was the with us japan carrot version uh pearl benefit not this one uh this is the power station lucky draw and the other one was the ums japan carrot version pearl the benefit and obviously those you can only get if you purchase the albums from japan from these shops in japan people run group orders but you know sometimes i don't buy every single Prado benefit for 17 so i don't want to join group orders because i don't know if i'm gonna want this uh Prado benefit or not and i just buy them after the fact uh just because you know it's uh i decided that i liked it so yeah also i still love group orders don't get me wrong and i join group orders a lot especially for txt uh i join a lot of group orders but the thing with group orders is that you end up with so many extra photo cards that you don't know what to do with and i already have a lot of extra faces and photo cards that i need to sell and it's 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 fine but uh uh <laughs> The hassle, the hassle is, uh, it's real, it's real. So yeah, here I was just uh, double checking this person's, the seller's profile, looking at what other listings they had. I don't know why I opened the Jonghan listing, but we move. And yeah, just trying to shop around. And I usually go further down the search pages. I usually do all the search pages, but uh, if I have a specific search term, and then if i just see for example the name of the idol i'll just do a few pages just to see what's new and what things have dropped because you know even with proto benefits sometimes they don't all arrive at once on these but you know they don't ship out at once so people don't get them at the same time so some drop before others uh by the time i was buying all of this uh i was uh recording this before sector 17 came out so this is why i'm not buying any sector 17 in this but it was quite a bit after face this and so everything was kind of available and i think that the more recent thing that had dropped was uh the beat road and drum music uh pre the benefit that had kind of just come in so it was a good time for me because other fan signs uh, hadn't shipped out yet. Uh, for example, Wish You, uh, which is a Chinese uh, fan sign. I mean, if you're watching this, you probably know this already. But yeah. So, what was I saying? <laughs> uh, yeah, so, you know, some of those fan signs, like Beatford and everything, they ship out pretty quickly. Uh, but they're still kind of the last things that drop and then you have fan signs like with you that take months and months and months um, before shipping out for example like the txt thursday's child uh i still don't know what the with you run one look like but i have seen the with you run one for 17 for face the sun which i'm like okay um and uh, actually i want to get uh both of Mingyu's and Ming House for this. Uh, so yeah. Uh, so this is the Power Station Lucky Draw, which I'm obsessed with. So yeah, <laughs> just put in the order after trying to look around and using different search terms. I will put um, most search terms that I use down below in my description. So, you know, you can use them as well. I'll probably have to look again for the Power Station and UMS specific search terms, but yeah, I still I use this sometimes, but most of the time I just put in the lucky draw search term. Uh, so yeah, and then I was also looking for Ming House product benefits, and I found this really nice set that had one lucky draw and one fan sign for the card that I wanted, and yeah, kind of just looking around. As you can see, sometimes. When your search term is too specific this was my problem child for the girl trying to get because i did not want to spend three thousand yen 
on uh, uh, that lucky draw, but here we are. But yeah, here I was looking directly on Mercury Japan for listings because Bai does take a little bit to have the listings show up on their website. Uh, just because uh, they, you know, double check the sellers and everything as well. But yeah, so I just wanted to see if it was as bad as on Micro Japan as it was on Bayou with how quickly those lucky draws were selling out, and it was. So yeah, but I also kept a listing up for like, uh, I don't know, it took about like a day. Sometimes it takes 16 hours to 24 hours to show up on the website. So I was kind of just having that listing up and like double checking that it was coming on Bai and like once it got on Bai I just bought it directly. Also I'd like to say that you've seen me just like add things to my cart and proceed through orders like quickly and everything but like usually <laughs> I don't purchase that many things at once. This is just you know the for the sake of condensing things together and i mean you know my orders uh build up slowly here i was looking at namjoon suuzu blu-ray photo cards and i didn't buy any uh at that point i was just uh looking at the price range of things but i did need to buy his proof photo cards and yeah i wanted to buy his standard photo card his standard postcard and then um all three of his lucky drawers and to you soundwave and power station so i knew that i wanted to get things in uh nice sets uh because bts have obviously way more listings because you know uh the fandom is bigger so there is like better sets of things usually you know uh with album photo cards and lucky draws together so um, that was kind of what i was aiming for and this looks like a nice set because it had two photo cards that i needed and the postcard uh i still had a postcard that i could trade for namjoon's but sometimes buying like the postcards is cheaper than the shipping of like trying to trade so <laughs> That's why I was trying to see if there was like postcards in the sets just because it's a bigger item so shipping is more expensive when you trade. Okay, so this was a set of like fake photo cards but I was just like flabbergasted that uh, I just wanted to see if the description what the description was saying because sometimes uh, sellers uh, try to get tricky in how they word things and not say right away that it's unofficial even though you know sometimes this was like very obviously unofficial right but uh just by the color you can tell right away same with this you know but sometimes they have specific wordings and it's good to pick up on those wordings so then when you having like doubts about a listing that's less suspicious than this because of the price and how bad the quality of the replica is you can you know know how to uh, walk those waters a little bit So after switching up my search terms several times, I had a few listings that I had up that seemed interesting based on the price and uh, how many things were in the set. So I was kind of looking through everything and uh, I was trying to see what would uh, be the cheapest, you know. Uh, obviously, I kind of wanted to stick to two listings maximum just to save on fees and stuff um so yeah 
then I was looking for some Yonjin photo cards. Uh, the Yonjin photo card I wanted to get this time around that was kind of my priority wish list for him because usually he's a bit more expensive uh, so because at the point where I'm at in his collection what I want to get is more expensive so I wanted to get his Weaver's uh, pre-order benefit for Chaotic Wonderland because TXT has a Japanese comeback planned very very soon in August so I kind of wanted to complete Chaotic Wonderland before that but uh, that photo card, as you can, you've seen the prices on the Mercury search were just expensive. So I was like, okay. Uh, and I tried to look on Rakuta Recommend as well, just to see if they had better prices. They did not. So I kind of <laughs> let that go for the moment. And I think that maybe, you know, like in a couple months after the uh, new Japanese comeback uh, things will come down a little bit because prices were down to it was still like 5,000 yen but it wasn't going up to like 6,000 yen and now that they announced the comeback it's going up to 6,000 yen so I'm like maybe I'll try to get that on Instagram where prices will be a bit more reasonable so I decided to look for some other stuff, uh, just perusing a little bit, looking at what Lucky Draws, you know, are available because I really like this Lucky Draw of him in the grey hair and uh, the books behind him. So I don't usually collect very thoroughly in terms of Lucky Draws for TXT, but you know, sometimes if one catches my eye, I'll want to get it. Uh, but I don't really know if I have space to put uh, a Thursday child, Thursday's child lucky draw in my spreads <laughs> with how they organize right now. Uh, so I'm also kind of looking at the fight or escape lucky draws because I wanted to buy the MTU one because they have the force outfits and which I talk about all the time. But uh, as you can see the price for that is like insane for no reason so I was kind of looking at the other lucky draws as well uh, from fight or escape uh, and see their prices their price range which is about the same as on Instagram Instagram yeah I think it goes for about 20 euros as well I've seen 18 20 so with shipping and everything kind of amounts to the same uh, with fees and stuff but yeah so I was kind of just looking at things, looking what was actually available, looking at sellers, trying to decide. I end up not getting any lucky draw <laughs> at the end of the day, but uh, I at least know what the price range is, which because I hadn't really looked at the lucky draws all that much, but I have saved the listings to my cart as well. I don't think they'll be available for the next time, but uh, you know. I, I had it, I had it all saved. I had it all saved. <laughs> but here uh, I was also, you know, looking in between Macro Japan and Rakuma and I really like this set of two because uh, obviously I like getting sets just to save on fees a little bit. But uh, yeah, so I just put that in my card, ended up not buying it. So if you're out there needing it, here you go. So this was a little while later when all my packages had arrived at the warehouse. I had 25 packages <laughs> in this order overall. So I clicked select all and add package consolidation to get all of my orders together sent in one package. Uh, I just thought that showing how the shipping works is always good. And then you can pick your shipping method once they've consolidated the package and you have a final uh, a fee basically you have the consolidation fee right now you don't pay it in this instant but they just tell you how much it is so you know it and then once they've consolidated everything you pay for your shipping and the consolidation fee just all together at the end and you can still change your address afterwards 
and here you can see the details of your consolidated consolidated package and uh, you can uh, click on things just to see everything shipping fee as you can see they haven't told me what the shipping fee is yet just uh, because they haven't put the package together yet but then you can uh, see more shipping information and see all of your orders and everything but yeah that was it for today my shopping and just showing you the shipping process because i feel like that's a question people have usually but it's pretty simple and everything is pretty self-explanatory if you still have questions you can leave them down below and i'll try my best to answer them whether it be about buy or the photographs i've purchased or the groups that i collect and yeah i'll answer if i can and i hope you enjoy this that it was fun to watch and also helpful and i will have a buy ye haul uh, with some of the items that i purchased in this video today coming up very very soon so stay tuned for that and thank you so much for watching i'll see you soon bye